Hi, everybody. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. I got to like, wash in some dishes. <laughs> the old dishwasher's kind of loud. But um, what I wanted to do today is make um, a homemade paint recipe with you and teach you how to do it. Um, you need three ingredients. Cornstarch, the best. <laughs> and then water. And then to put the color in, I'm gonna use food coloring. Um, this way it's edible, so it's okay if it gets on your hands or anything like that. Um, you can also use paint if you have paint at home, like watercolor paint, that might make it not inedible. Um, let's see. Anyways, it's really easy. Because uh, basically for all the ingredients, I'm gonna mix it up in this, this kind of shiny bowl here. But you need one third of a cup of water. Really not a lot. I got a, a big container for a little bit of stuff. Um, and then you need one third of a cup of cornstarch too. So it's the same, same thing. And I know all the preschoolers can definitely help measure this out. And I'm sure toddlers can help some of this out. So I'm gonna fill up, this is one third cup. I'm gonna fill that up. Um, short teaspoons so I don't spill everywhere like last time I made something in my kitchen. Oh, I already spilled a little bit. Oh well. <laughs> Tack it in. And you can always change the ratio. Um, ideally this would be kind of like chalky a little bit. Still liquids so you can paint with it but Chalky. All right, in you go. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'll have some to do. <laughs> All right, let me stir it together. Uh, it's very, very kind of slimy. It's sticky, like most oobleck is. It's very similar to oobleck. But, all right, so once you get it good and mixed up, one different thing we're going to do is add some coloring in. I wonder which color we should do. We could do blue. We could do that's red. We could do yellow, although it kind of looks like orange. I wonder what it would look like if we added it. Or you could do green. What do you think we should do? Oh, I heard a good suggestion. <laughs> it was let's add one of each. <laughs> so we'll add one yellow. You see it in there? It kind of looks uh, looks reddish. Let me stir and we'll see if it turns this whole thing yellow. Oh, you see it? Turned yellow. Very cool. All right, let's do red next. Oh, I did two drops by accident. <laughs> Be more careful than me. If you can. Oh, see it changing color? Oh, yes. All right, which one do you think? Blue next? I hope we end up with purple, but we'll see. Make sure to put the tops on. Food coloring can stain, although it's fun to use. So the way they recommend, well, interesting color we're ending up with. Can you see? <laughs> the way they recommend to use this paint is to do it outside, like sidewalk chalk. And then if it rains, it'll just rinse away. The water and the rain will rinse this away. Um, if you do it inside, I would definitely put a, a cloth down or a, you know, wear a smock because food coloring, especially the darker colors, can, can stain sometimes. There's green. What do you think? <laughs> Interesting color we end up with. Well, I hope you have fun painting. I can't wait to see what you make. Bye, everybody.